under isothermal conditions a gas at 300 kelvin expands from 1 liter to 4 liter against a constant external pressure of 2 atm the heat absorbed by the gas is student as we all know that in case of isothermal condition delta u is equals to zero as delta u that is change in internal energy is a function of temperature at constant temperature the value of delta u is zero so according to first law of thermodynamics delta u is equals to q plus w that means q is equals to minus w so first we have to calculate work done and then we'll be able to calculate the heat absorbed as we all know that w is equals to minus p delta v and the pressure is given that is 2 atm and change in volume is 4 minus 1 liter which is 3 into 2 that means minus 6 liter atm student here we are given that 1 liter atm is equals to 100 joules that means minus 6 liter atm is equals to minus 6 into 100 joules that means minus 600 joules now we can calculate q which is equals to minus w which is equals to minus minus 600 joules which is equals to 600 joules that means the correct answer is option number 4 moving to our next question students which is 57 in which of the following process the entropy changes negative as we are already know that decrease in gaseous moles decreases the entropy so we have to identify then among which of the following options number of gaseous moles are decreasing starting with our first that is h2 plus i2 gives 2 hi here the number of gaseous moles are same in reactants and in product moving to next caco3 gives cao solid and co2 gas here in product number of gaseous moles is 1 and in reactant number of gaseous moles is 0 so number of gaseous moles are increasing moving to next n2 plus 3h2 gives 2 nh3 in this case number of gaseous moles in product is less than in case of reactant so we can say that number of gaseous moles decreases as a result entropy decreases or we can say that the entropy change in option number 3 is negative moving to last option that is pcl5 gaseous gives pcl3 and cl2 gases in this case also number of gaseous moles are increasing as a result the entropy changes positive so the correct answer is option number 3 moving to our next question students which is 58 the heat of formation of ab is minus 50 kJ per mole if the bond dissociation energy of a2 and b2 are 10 and 20 kJ per mole respectively then the bond dissociation enthalpy of ab in kJ per mole is so student first of all i'm writing the reaction which is half a2 plus half b2 gives ab in this case first of all we need to know that enthalpy of the reaction is equals to summation of bond energy of reactants minus summation of bond energy of products students we are given that heat of formation of ab is minus 50 kJ per mole and as we all know that for this reaction the enthalpy of reaction is equals to enthalpy of formation so the value of delta h is equals to minus 50 kJ which is equals to bond energy of reactants minus bond energy of product since we are given bond dissociation enthalpy of a2 as 10 kJ and b2 as 20 kJ so half of bond energy of a2 which is 10 plus half of bond energy of b2 which is 20 minus bond energy of ab which is equals to minus 50 plus 5 plus 10 minus bond energy of ab so student bond energy of ab is equals to 5 plus 10 plus 50 which is equals to 65 kJ per mole that means the correct answer is option number 4 moving to next question students which is 
for n mole of an ideal gas when its volume is changed reversibly and isothermally from v initial to v final the entropy change is given by student as we all know that delta s is equals to q upon t also for reversible isothermal process the value of q is equals to n r t ln v final upon v initial and the in denominator we have temperature which is equals to n r ln v final upon v initial that means the correct answer is option number 3 moving to the next question students which is 60 the reaction is always non spontaneous if student we already know that for non spontaneous reaction delta g must be greater than 0 that means the value of delta g must be positive also we know that delta g is equals to delta h minus t delta s that means if delta h is positive and delta s is negative the value of delta g will always be positive that means the value of delta h must be greater than 0 and the value of delta s must be less than 0 in this case the value of delta g must be always positive that means the reaction will be always non spontaneous so the correct answer is option number 3 moving to the next question students which is 61